Hey guys, this is Anime E911, and I'm doing a equipment test today to show y'all what I use when I do my videos on YouTube. Okay, that should be a whole lot better. Doing my video, when I do, when I do my videos on YouTube, I've got me a new computer, which it is a um, let's see, it's a ThinkPad, Lenovo ThinkPad SL500. Yeah, SL500. Real little laptop. The uh, the Dell Inspiron 5050 I had is actually a little bit better for get gaming. Uh, they had the Pentium. Uh, I don't know if it was dual core Pentium, but I think it was uh, just a regular single core Pentium. The the laptop I have now is the uh, the Lenovo ThinkPad SL500. And uh, this is going to give you some equipment overview, uh, which I have my mixer over here. Yeah, excuse TV, uh, guitar and stuff. But um, I will get give you both like uh, two. Oh, sorry about that. Give you two sources of audio, which to come in. Which uh, I'm fixing to switch to the PV cardioid mic, PVI100. I'll lose the name of that mic and give you some audio test. And uh, the EQ on the on the PV is just set to flat. I have my EQ set settings now up, uh, you know, peaked and tuned about where I want them. So I think you'll realize how much different of the of the quality would be with the other one. So I'm gonna go grab this mic over here and I'll be right back. Which just give me a sec. Which here is the other mic, the PVI 100 mic. Yeah, the PVI 100. I really do like the PVI 100. That's the uh, that's the EQ. That's the EQ flat. No, no, uh, no changes to EQ. Which uh, which I have my ATH right here, Audio Tech ATH right here. Uh, a really really great, really great mic to use. For voice recording and things like that nature, I will turn my mic, this mic off, and I will, will I will mess with my mic with my um with my EQ and let you hear my EQ. Let's get my EQ back up, or excuse me, not back up. Once I adjust my EQ settings. Okay, guys, here's my EQ settings, which I've set. This is how I like my EQ settings. I have both my uh, ATH, I believe it was ATH mic. Well, I know it's Audio Technica mic. I will, uh, I will uh, mute this mic, and I will look at this mic and tell you a little bit about this mic here. Okay, guys, I don't know if you have ever heard me talk about this mic on any of my videos, which I'm sure you have. It is a AT2050. I believe this mic retails for at least a good uh, 300 to $400, which I got this still I got this for a steal at my local music store for like 80 bucks, which I think is a real good, real good steal. But um, I have my... Let's see where's that other mount? I have them. I have the mount, the plastic screw mount. It came with this uh, shock mount. Really great, durable uh, little plastic mounting piece to go on your to go on your stand or whatnot. Um, with this mic, you have your omnidirectional. You have your well, let it focus. Well, you don't want to focus. You have your omnidirectional pattern. It's going from, um, I think from right to left. Well, your circle is your omnidirectional, the little harp shape. The little heart shape is your cardioid, and then you have your, um, you have your omni, your cardioid, and your, um, I don't know, 
don't know what to call it, a figure eight, figure eight, pat, you know, voice coil pattern thing. You have your low cut, you have your 10 dB pad, 0 dB pad, which there's your pad, and then um, there's your low cut. Uh, I really do like the mic, and, you know, starting out, that's the mic I used when I started the video. And my E911 here, and this is just an overview of some equipment that I use. I really do like, I prefer this because it gives you a better, I mean, better voice fidelity. So this is a condenser, and this is a dynamic, this mic, this PVI 100 is a dynamic mic. Standard dynamic mic, something that, that nature. Only thing bad about the dynamic, uh, the condenser. Only thing bad about the condenser is you can hear. I mean, you can this thing will pick up a. I mean, this will pick up it's super sensitive, which I try to use my dynamic mic so that I do a lot of filming around around here where I'm at currently, because um, a lot of cars go up and down the road. You hear a lot of noise. I mean, you can real. It really picks up on noise, which that that that's the. Uh, that's the the nature of the beast of the car, of the condenser mic. They're real sensitive mics, but they do they do um, they do a wonderful job at catching your vo your natural voice and doing it that way. But uh, I re really do like uh, the Audio Technica line of things, and I really am an Audio Tech Audio Technica guy. I'm a PV guy too. Which uh, my amp over here, you can't really see it. It's a PV. My amp head, my bass amp head is a PV. My mixer I'm using over here is a PV. And speaking of the mixer, I want you to look at that. I need to put this. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in its little shoe thing. Whoa, my mount, my uh, tripod flew. So. Let me get my camera off my laptop, and I will show you what I'm using here. Uh, how you like my whole? Ah, oh, crap. Well, there's the PV six BT. Nice Bluetooth mixer. I need to um, really do love that mixer. It's a nice mixer. Uh, the only thing bad about it really is, um, really nothing I can't complain. I think they cut, I think they did a pretty well overall good job on the build quality of that mixer. Um, again, it's the PV's, the PV6BT, and I'm sorry about hitting the button when I, um, when I was talking. Six channel mixer, uh, two... See, I think it's. Let me get my camera back in position right here, guys. But, um, the thing with this mixer, it's. I mean, it's. I mean, it's a real nice build quality. You can go to your local music store and probably pick it up again, special order it. But, uh, I suggest you go and um, look online for your equipment, your stands, and such, because you could probably be able to find a whole lot cheaper. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna go go ahead and cut this um, PVI 100 choroid off and get the um, audio tech back out and get it working. So uh, give me a sec. Let me switch my mics out. And yeah, with this. Um, With the ATH 2050, you uh, you need to have phantom power, which phantom power is a, f a fancy way of, uh, yeah, and the connector is um, XTL, I can't remember, it, but it looks like that, and uh, you have you you just have to have. Sorry about that. I was being OCD about this uh, cable. Uh, Phantom power is 48 volts over. Can't remember. It's not X XLT. 
I can't remember. But over your over your cable, it sends 48 volts. And don't be a dummy like like the, like me here, and stick a metal piece in those two first uh, inputs to where these mics are going, because you will get a nice little shock. Because if your phantom if your phantom power is on, 48 volts, you know you need the power mics. Like can I think condenser mics have to have phantom power, which I'm gonna turn phantom power off. Turn it off real quick. I don't need it with this mic. But uh, but with the audio tech, yeah, and that's the only thing I like about that. Makes so you turn your, then your phantom power on and off. That's what happens when you turn your phantom power on and off. It uh, it fades. It has that fading noise. So let me get this uh, audio technic or. Let me get this audio technica put back up here. We could just PVI 100 put back in uh, the audio the little audio tech case where it won't be just out and about and scratched up. Just make sure you know about that phantom power. So yeah, guys, you can see now, you can hear the the difference in a voice voice clarity with the uh, with the condenser mic. The big thing about the condenser mics are they're uh, they get in your way a lot. Uh, really, they really do. I mean, a really great mic to use. I really do love the uh, the Audio Technica mic. I really do like the um, the voice clarity of the mic. A really, really, really great mic to use. Which the PVI 100, not a bad mic at all. Not, not bad. But if you have it, I'd rather prefer to use something like this for the shock mount because the shock mount helps with the sh you know shock like like that. It's not as it's not as bad if it's bumped. But uh, yeah, try to keep a little tip about making videos and such you can't see it which you probably could tell with um with hold on I'm trying to find a good spot to position this mic or it won't be in the way there we go I like that I think that'll work um good place keep your keep your operating place clean um but yeah, I keep it clean. That's about the only only little piece of advice I, I, I can give you is keep your area clean. Uh, get your mixing equipment. Get that get that in par, get that in check. Um, know what you're gonna do. Like uh before you switch mics, which I neglected to do, you want to um turn your volumes down. Keep a track of which cables go to what mic. Cause I and another thing I've realized about this mixer is you uh if you turn if you turn one one input down, the other input will I'll make a whine. Like see I'll I'll show an example. That little bit of white noise you hear when I turn my voice down. Now when I turn down now you won't hear it. And me uh, and me and what I was talking about earlier with the condenser mic being real sensitive about uh, ambient noise. You can hear you can really you can hear that air, uh, that little heater I have on running. But yeah, that's what I was talking about that little hum when you uh when you turn all you know your mic input down and you go silent you hear you hear that that noise 
and uh, I'm using this as like a, a PVA 100 mic, which I like. I like it like this because you you know you can hear better. But yeah, trying to think. Yeah, really keep your operational space clean. Things in that nature. Um, I hope that still gets pretty good voice quality. Turn my gain up a little bit, and uh, yeah, keep your area clean. This would be where I keep my mic from now on, about five inches away or five inches down from my chin. You, um, I don't know, very good mixer. I bought it, I think the PVA other 100, I bought it for like 150 bucks. Maybe two hundred bucks. Overpaid. Go you go to your local mixer. You're gonna overpay, most likely. So, like I said, do your research. Go online. Buy your equipment online because you probably can order it cheaper. But if you want it, then in there, like I always do, spend the money. But um, hmm. And I plan on making it to Hamacon 2016 twenty sixteen. Hamacon seven. And I really do want to get some gaming footage to put on my channel and where you can see like cons of what you would miss. But, um, yeah, I really do want to get, get to that con because cons are a big thing to me. You know, that's where, you, like I said in my previous videos, that's where you make friends. That's, you know, you're there and you're just there to just to like enjoy the culture and stuff like that. And I made this video at 3.47 a.m. So, uh, it's about time for me to hit the bed. But, uh, to recap my equipment I'm using, I'm using, uh, I didn't show you the stand either. It's a, uh, Stark, uh, Stark Cheer Stand. S-T-R-U-K-T-U-R-E. Stand. Same with the cable. Uh, great cable. Only little option thing I have is when you walk, wib. See how you, I wobble that or wiggle it, and it cuts out. As long as you don't touch it, you'll be fine. But uh, okay, the that's that's the uh, the cable and the mic that I'm using. The Audio Technica. What was it again? Okay. At twenty fifty. PVI 100 uh, cardioid AT2050 condenser. Uh, okay. Eight, er, I'm going to start with the mixer. The PV6BT Audio Technica AT2050. The other mic, this one is the PVI 100. Pretty decent. And you can, and I forgot to mention. You can unscrew the cap and get a little bit more better audio out of it. Um, Sony uh, Sony noise canceling headphones are decent, very decent. Got them for three bucks. Can't complain. Um, they are the uh, they're the Sony uh, NC MDR NC seven. Uh, pretty decent, comfortable. I've been wearing them for maybe three hours now. Starting to hurt my ears very. Starting to hurt my ears a, a little bit. Not that bad. My voice is real muffled for some odd reason. I just realized that from listening with my ear. Uh, I need. I guess I need to readjust my settings to my natural voice level. They're nice little fold-up headphones, and they uh, they do do noise canceling with a double uh, with a uh, AAA battery. Noise canceling is decent. It's not the best, but if you have music on, you're in a loud car, it'll drown the noise out. That's what I'm talking about a double uh, A a AAA battery. But um. And the Logitech C97K 
camera. So, okay, camera. I'm not getting the smoothest of uh, video quality that I'd like. In my honest opinion, it's a piece of crap because I get scan lines. I don't know if you noticed the scan lines. Uh, decent. For what I paid for it, I should. I, I think I could have got a little bit better. A little bit better. I, I'm so I sort of wish now that I went up, went up, would have went ahead and spent the, the extra thirty bucks, where I could have got the uh, nice clean image. It's not as grainy. Uh, overall better camera, which I plan on upgrading that. I'm happy with all my audio equipment at the moment. And uh, let's see what else do I really use that you might be interested in. See, I think that's about all I have, other than my little Logitech keyboard, which nothing special. Logitech keyboard is the Logitech K400R. Um, a lazy, lazy me, have it here in my lap and just you know, whatever. Really would come in handy when I do a lot of um. Like my Vocaloid rant, my OSU video, come in handy when I have to hit Shift R to can you know to do that. But uh, just a little interview, a little. See, oh, sorry about hitting the mic. I didn't mean to do that. But that's uh, that's that's about that's about all the equipment I use really. Twenty twenty one minute video. Enemy number one, and this has been an equipment overview. That I use uh, at three o'clock in the morning. I know three o'clock in the morning. 